If I had any good disruption, then your deck might be a little less favored, but because I don't... It's yeah. the same. It's like you and I are trying to do the same thing, but yours is faster. Mm. My Mer deck is somewhat fast, but it's it's whatever I draw that it counts. I got you. Alright. Oh! By the way, see who goes first. You need one more. So here's my card, and you pick yours. We're playing rock, paper, scissors. So I have a paper. Oh. Without, without looking. Yeah. Oh. See which one I get. I hope I get the scissors, a lizard. Here we go. Rock, lobster, tie. Wait, what is that? Paper it's line? Paper okay. The tiger scissors, lizard. Which one is that? It's a rock lobster. It's a rock lobster. Oh, so this was gummit. Caesars, yeah. All right. So I I'll love those cards, though. They're they're really cool. This could be bad. But oh, that's a nasty one. Let's see. Do I keep this one? I think I. Well, I'm gonna play. Because I can do stuff with this. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to try, and I'm going to regret it. But here we go. I'll start out by going to 17, getting a Temple Garden, and playing Slippery Fogel, and then pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Please, can you? Okay. Not really. Good. Yeah, Not this guy. Really. So basically, you can't target him. That's the only. That's his ability. Can't be targeted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not like, not like you're doing this. Listener Elf. Yes. Yeah, you can see it on the screen just to make sure everything's on. Okay. Alright, T1 goes to me. All hit. All hit. And. Okay. It was a one mana hand. Alright, we got there. Yeah, same thing. I had a one, one mana hand. Um, let's see. I don't think I get there unless I'm doing it on this plan. So I'll take another point and I'll play the Spirit Dancer and pass the turn. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, boy. Um, here we go. I'll tap with that. Another Glistener Elf? Okay. And um, I'll attack for one. There's got to be a trick in there. I don't think you can kill me on turn two with one mana, though. <laughs> I say that and then watch you just get like 16 mutagenic grads. <laughs> um, I'll offer the trade. Hmm. Got a pump spell. Which one? Giant growth. Okay. Yeah. He's dead, Jim. So, yeah, I'll pass the turn. Alright. There's nothing. And I, I brought my poison counters today, even though I'm not playing. I brought them. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, let's see. Come on. Rancor. Drop it. Oh, he's a 2 2. Oh boy. Oh, he's, he's a little bit bigger than the Ethereal Armor. Okay, so he's a 3 3. Well, Spirit Dancer has a unique ability that it gets plus 2 plus 2 for each aura attached to it. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's a weird card. So what is it now? It is a four six 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 eight eight. It's an eight eight. I might be able to beat that. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Um, I might be able to get past that. Hopefully. I'll pass the turn. If I pull the card that I want to right now to get past that, then I can probably deal some poison to you. Okay. I take your word for it. I, I hope you're wrong, but you're probably right. Okay. Okay. Let's see, so what it... 
I forgot what okay. Rancor did, but trample. I don't know. What that it's did. plus two plus zero oh, and trample. And Ethereal Armor is plus one plus one for each enchantment I control, which I keep mis mixing up as four for some reason. And it has first strike. So this is an eight eight trample first strike creature. It's big. Okay. I'll, I'll just play like this so you can read it more easily. Okay. Uh, I'll attack with uh, two. I'll block. Uh, either one. I'll block this one. This one? Yeah, why not? Right? Okay. Okay, time to get infected to death. Uh, we're past Mind of Olcrisa, and we don't have ground spell Two off. ground spells. Alright, I'll go to five. Yep. Man, if you, I'd be at nine if you got a land in there. Oh, I agree. Sadly, I don't. I hope I get one. Soon enough, not. right? Um, it's coming. Yeah, I'll pass. And this guy dies. Oh, yeah. He gets, he gets shrecked. <laughs> Oh, so okay. you're on YouTube? I am. Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? I'm T1 Glycera. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I have to. I'll take one again. Daybreak Coronet. It's my self portrait. See? All the hair. <laughs> I have. I have to. Um, so I'll draw a card off of Spirit Dancer. Um, 12. So basically, this is all you're going to be doing the whole game? <laughs> kind of. Um, I'll play a Spider Umbra and draw a card. Alright, now, it, has, it is by, on its own, just using its ability. It's an 8 10. 10 10. 14 14. 17 17. 18 18. I still might be able to get past that. I will swing. Because it has vigilance. So it's trample, first strike, lifelink, vigilance. I'm not even going to adjust my life because you're in fact, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so. And then reach. Okay, so, so how much? I'm swinging 18. Okay, so I would be down to 2. Well, I guess I might as well adjust my life, but it doesn't. The life points don't really matter here. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn, yeah. So that's tap, right? Well, oh wait, no, vigilance. it has vigilance. Yeah, it has vigilance. Yeah. Normally, yes. That's why I didn't attack last turn. I wanted to make okay. sure. So it can't block two or more creatures, right? That's correct. It cannot. Yeah, if you can get a dude out with haste and swing with them or something somehow, that uh, that would get me. Uh, I think I should have a Yes, all the glistener. Love that card. So, when I attack something with this, do they in fact counter stay on that? Or? They will, but in this case, because of first strike, you would actually deal the damage to Pacer off first. But yes, the, the counters would remain on it. Okay. I'll pass. I can't do anything. I'm oh, sorry. It is. So we'll go to 29. Oh, burn. I'll play Hyena Umbra. Draw a card. I'll play Spider Man. I'll play Ethereal Armor again. I'll play Ethereal Armor again. Draw a card. I'll fetch. Yay. I was trying to make a big out of this 
And I'll play. If you'd like to cut, you know. Rancor? And then you're gonna attack. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm dead either way. I'm going to attack now. I kind of do want to see how big it is. Just really quickly. Yeah, yeah. Seven, so eight. So on its own, it's a 16. 18. 18. 2018. I'm gonna get to you in just a moment. Uh, 23, 21. Together, 25, 23. 26, 24. So that is a 42, 40. I'll swing 42. If I was doing my Murdoch and I had um, a Vincer's journal out and I had like a huge oh, hand, yeah. that it might not be a worrying to me. I'm trying to remember which one Vincer's journal is. Which one is that? It's, we'll, um, we'll talk about that off camera. Let's see. We'll see you in the next round. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on the part really easy for oh, yeah. you. Gotta worry about that T1 blistering off on the play. I don't do that very often though, so... Yeah, but when it happens... Yeah. When it happens... It's pretty nice. Uh, so keepable hands. Yeah. This is a keepable hand. I'll take it. So normally, this hand would just be way too slow. Notice what I don't have in this whole hand, any of. But this card is something. So I think I can try it. I think. I think I might. I think I might discard. Or Mulligan? Mulligan, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Right. So, how long have you been playing match? Like, you on the um, Three years. Three years? Okay. Yeah. Off and on? Um, no. Okay. I'm, I'm still not really that good at it. Fair enough. I've been off hiatus, I guess, for about that long. So. But then again, I also played back in the day. Back in the day! Yeah, before I started college and realized how much money it cost. And then in college, I was able to get back into it. We'll do seven. Uh, man, this is hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright. I, I have a good hand, but the only problem is I might not be able to play it if I don't draw the right card. Uh, your, your call. You know your deck. I'm just, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I think I'll keep. Alright, you're up. Okay, pass. Oh, come on, you don't have any left? No. Okay, shove it again, that's fine. But I have three glisten reels. I, I think that that one, yeah, you, you probably have to shower. Yeah, okay. Because otherwise you could just get stuck in a state. Like, less than half of your deck is land, right? Yeah. So that means that every time that you, you're, you're not even getting a coin toss every time you draw a card. It's less than one and two. It's less, you're less likely than a coin toss to find a way. Yeah. 
I've heard a lot about it And it's just kind of hit me now that like, none of them actually are very good against Jones. Okay, so now oh, oh, it happens. It happens. Yep. Um. So now I'm pretty confident in what's coming. Um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're up. You're up. Okay. Um. Forest path. Well, you have size. Like, like, you know, Charlie has the all the like fucking. No glistening. Not this time. Temple Guard, so I'll go to 18. And then I will play a Glade Pepper Scout. It's the same thing as the other guy, oh, okay. except the mana cost is different, and it's an Elf Scout instead of a Ghost. Okay. Pass turn. Chorus. White Mamba. White Mamba. Yeah, that's a card. That is definitely a card. Yep. I'll play a Spider Umbra. And I'll swing two at you. Just two this time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do this right. I was trying to keep a straight face the whole time. Oh boy. Um, it's just like. Um, let's see. Attack with that. No blocks. Of course. And. Let's see. So, oh wow. All three will do that. Predator Strike, plus three, plus three, and then Tramp on the turn. So yeah. that'll be four, 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 four. Um, seven, seven. I'm actually going to stop you right there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's because you work like a hard about it. I'm sorry. Um, if there was vines of basswood, yep. Yep. that would have saved it. But you do get a basic land out, so it gets yeah. exiled, but then you get a basic land you can go out. So that would go. Yeah. I was gonna do one more pump spell. Mutagenic growth? How did you know? Because you were out of mana, so it's the only other one you can play. Uh, I think, yeah, you get a basic land out of yeah. Two. Yeah. And that goes on tap. Mutagenic growth, if everything else had come in, you'd have me at nine, yeah. Yeah. One plus two from Mutagenic, plus three from Predator Strike, plus three from Giant Cut. So that puts me to nine. Yeah. That's and then I would have no more pump still. Yeah. It's tough to go all in like that if the opponent has a removal spell. This is why, like, your deck is much faster than mine, but mine is a little bit harder to stop because these guys have expert. It makes them just, you can't pack them. But they're also slower. Yours could kill me on turn two. I can't do that. Okay, so yeah. I, yeah. Well, that way I get an extra land. That you do. That's right. So it'll give me more room for pump spells if I draw any. I, I probably should have, like, if I had a Necropede, I probably should have put that down. Uh, I gotcha. Well, it, it wouldn't have died. Um, exile doesn't count as death. I haven't really figured out what that was. So these are the mana symbols. I guess, what, what is that supposed to be? Like the Magic Origins symbol? I have no idea. So, anyway, ignore my... Wait, memory. so is that from Magic Origins? No, it's from a set called Future Side. That's why it has oh. this really weird looking board. Okay. I'll swing at you for five with Vigilance. 
Sure. I'll go to 23, and then I'll go to 20. So, in addition to Vines of Vastwood, another card you could try out is Fossil's Blessing. Mm, yeah, I have those in here. Oh, yeah, you do? Okay. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Another thing you might be able to try, there's a card called Gitaxian Pro. It lets you, yeah. in your deck, since you're mono green, you don't ever pay the blue, you just pay two life, and look at your opponent's hand, and then draw a card. And the reason, if you want to cut your hand, the reason that's important is, if you look at my hand, you can see whether it's safe to, to do what you did or not. And if it's not safe, you can be a little bit more conservative, or you can wait until you have a Vines of Vastor. Okay. And then I will cast another, I'll cast its twin, twin sisters, totally, past turn. Okay. So many letters. Two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see what I'm drawing here. Let's see. So, what is that? Yeah. It is a 5 5 first strike vigilance lifelink reach. Expert. Oh, yeah, here, let me do this again. Okay. We'll, we'll do it this way. There we go. So we'll play Horizon Canopy, but I'll use its second ability to sacrifice itself and draw a card. Oh. I'm going to swing at you with both of these. <laughs> so if I block this and say I do a pump spell, yeah. that say had trample, would that still deal damage to you? Well, trample is only when you're attacking. Uh, when you're blocking, the trample part doesn't matter. Okay. But yeah, if you had a predator strike, then you would kill the blade cover scout. Okay. I'll block that okay. and Mutagen Growth. Okay, play covers dead. And I'll take the trial. Alright. And I will go back to 25. 25 completely irrelevant light points. I'll cast Slippery Boat. And then I'll pass the rep turn back to you. Oh, I mean, yep, that's a card. I hear that's a pretty good card. I don't have trample in this guy, so you can potentially just kind of like walk forever until I get trample. Regenerates pretty good. Oh. Well, it does have first strike. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but you would block the base with this, right? Probably. The only reason I wouldn't is if I thought you had a trick and you could kill it with enough pump spells, in which case I would try to run one out with a boat. But you only have one card in hand. So. Yeah, but it's a pretty OP pump spell. Believe you. Yeah. 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 
It's the, it's the only pump spell that I have that could probably kill that. Well, I wish I hadn't heard, I wish you hadn't said that just, just now. Um, because now that actually influences my decision. Yeah, I'll take one of that. Well, what would I have done? With one card in hand, I don't think I would have tried to bait it out with a bow. I think I probably would have tried to block with the blade cover. So that's probably what I would have done, so I'll do that. I'll block with you. I'll make you have to do it. So this guy doesn't take any damage because he has um, well, first strike. You would have to use the pump spell before damage is dealt. Before damage is dealt? Because this will deal damage to you, and then if you're not dead, it'll deal damage back. Instead of at the same time. Become immense, become immense. Yeah, so this guy dies. And I'll put. Well, they have hex proof, so you can't put a counter on them because you're trying to. But it is a May, so you don't have to give it to Bite Mom. Got it! Got it was it. a burn guy. Yes! I used Profane. I, I put Profane Command back in my talk about this after. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so, yeah. Let's turn. It's okay, you're learning. It's fine. Stuff like, stuff like this happens. I don't really win many tournaments, so. I, I will show you the joys of Mono Green effects another day. Maybe you can borrow my Mono Green deck. It's, it's pretty silly. It does turn two wins. It's pretty silly. Yeah, I don't really have enough money to do anything. I'll just let you borrow it. It's fine. You don't have to pay for it. May I take my turn, or do you have some uh, Yeah, okay. I've never seen a foil promo land. Oh, yeah, this is from Dragon's Pass. Swing 5? I think they might have been pre release promos. Yeah, but they just had planes. They didn't have any of those. So, say, I blocked this guy. You could regenerate it, and this would. So you would deal first strike, you would die, get removed from combat, but you wouldn't deal damage back. So but if I had a pump spell, yes. So if I had blocked this with a pump spell and then regenerated him. Only if the pump spell were enough to save it from the first strike damage. Okay. Yeah, because I'm still dealing the first strike. So you can, I can regenerate and not lose any life here. Okay, so how much are you attacking for? Five? Five. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. Oh, you'll take it? No, it's okay. okay. I'll go to 30. Not like my life actually matters here. And I'll pass turn. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to fetch. Okay. Well, actually, no, we're going to do this this way. So many lands. So if I pump this before I attack. That might save me from this guy. It has to be a 6-6, six, six or, or it has to have at least 6 toughness, because I'm going to deal 5 damage to it first. So it has to have at least 6 to be able to survive. But then I regenerate it. So. Yes, but it would be tapped, and so it couldn't block. If it's tapped from being regenerated, it can't block. Okay, I'll, I'll attack it first. Okay. Um, One card in hand. I'll fetch. Go to 29. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow your mind. Not really, but I'm gonna get a dry it on. 
So, in addition to being a gorgeous art, it is a land creature. So, because it's a forest, I can fetch it with the Misty Road. What the set is that from? <laughs> that set is from uh, Realms, from the Vault Realms. But originally it was from Future Sight, the same as this guy. Okay. Where they tried out a bunch of weird stuff, basically. Um, I'm a little bit worried about, well, it's just one card. So I will block with the dry arm. Just the dry arm. Okay. Alright. You'll trample over for three. I'll get three poison. Yep. And dry arbor is super dead. And let's see. Uh, that didn't deal damage to this. Or did it? Uh, you, you were big enough that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. It's only a one one. Okay. This little baby. Yeah, so you're going to kill me next turn anyway. I know. Yeah, that awkward moment when you boggle your boggles and your boggles boggle. You boggle your boggles. Yeah. Oh. You boggle your boggles and, uh, and then swing five. And, uh, yeah. Good game. Good game. Good game. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, you'll be here next week, or if you'll be here on Thursday, well, maybe not Thursday, but definitely Sunday, I'll bring my Mono Green Infect, and you can try that out. Yeah. Unpackaging. Yeah, okay, let's do it, let's do it. Uh, time for a pack of so we can get a shot for him. Come on. The uh, um, most valuable card I've ever gotten out of any pack was a Tom Goy. Yeah, that's... And I have a foil Emrakul with me. It's hard to get more valuable than a Tom Goy. An Emrakul is pretty good, though. And then I got an Elshin one. All right, let's see. So smite on the top. Okay, just gonna go straight to the uncommon. Uh, here we go. Ooh, that's cool. I like that art. I actually started in this set. Nice. Yeah, this is the one where I got back in. Okay. Oh, right what's that black one? We'll get to that in just a moment. Ooh, I need that. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. No. yes, yes, yes. Forest. And, ooh, I cool. said chocolate. I, I like this token. I like that. I like you. I wonder, yeah. I wonder how much this... This is worth like twelve dollars now, I think. That's not polluted delta. That's the other one, isn't it? Watery grave is still worth something. Yeah. If I had money, I'd try to. Is that the Shockland or? Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, that's the Shockland. Okay. I might be able to trade it some other, like if you come next week. But for right now, yeah, that's that's definitely. You made up the price of the pack by quite a bit. Good job. Yeah, I do that quite often actually. <laughs> I, I got a spell guide too one time. That's the thing. Um,